I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting test question on limits. The question is to find limit if it exists, limit x approaches minus infinity for square root of x square plus x plus x. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now what should be the strategy to solve such a question? Well, you should rationalize this, right? So let's rationalize and find the limit of this particular question. Limit when x approaches minus infinity, the function is square root of x square plus x plus x, right? To rationalize, I need to multiply and divide by its conjugate, which will be square root of x square plus x minus x right divided by square root of x square plus x minus x that gives you limit x approaches minus infinity when you multiply these two terms let me put them in bracket right so this is absolutely clear to you a plus b times a minus b a square minus b square is the result square of this thing is uh, x square plus x minus x square that becomes the numerator and the denominator is all this which is square root of x square plus x minus x now in the numerator i mean x square right square of this in the numerator x square minus x square is zero so you're left with x in the numerator so we could write this as limit x approaches minus infinity we get x in the numerator. In the denominator, within the square root, I can take x square common. So I get 1 plus 1 over x. And this is minus x here. Now, when x is approaching minus infinity, a very large number, 1 over x approaches 0, right? So this term is kind of square root of x square. Now the question is, what is square root of x square? What is square root of x square equal to? Think about this. And that is where most of the students make a mistake, right? Let me continue with the solution here. So we can write this as limit. x approaches minus infinity. We have x in the numerator. And in the denominator, we have square root of x square since 1 plus 1 over x, 1 over x is 0, right, since x approaches a very large number. So we could write this as square root of x square minus x. The question is, what is square root of x square? Is it x? No. Square root of x square is absolute value of x, correct? Square root of x square is absolute value of x. So we could write this as limit x approaches minus infinity x over this is absolute value of x not just x right now that is where the mistake happens and and sometimes students go, don't get the right answer now when it is square root of i mean when it is absolute x and x is approaching minus infinity then then what is absolute x well Absolute x is defined as, so this is absolute x, correct? And absolute x is defined as x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and it's minus of x if x is less than 0. Since we are approaching negative infinity, we could write absolute x as minus x. Do you see that? Since we are approaching negative infinity, it should be written as minus x. So we could write this as limit x approaches minus infinity and the function becomes x over minus x minus x. Do you see that? Now we could simplify this and write this as limit x approaches minus infinity x over minus 2x x and x cancel and we get a limit x approaches minus infinity as it's of minus half. Do you see that? This is just a constant, and therefore, the answer is minus half. 
So limit of this function will exist as x approaches minus infinity and the answer is minus half. Do you see that? And that is the way it should be done. So important things which you need to realize is that square root of x square is absolute value of x and when x is approaching minus infinity then absolute of x can be written as minus x right just as we wrote here so these are the two critical steps which you need to understand to solve such questions i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps feel free to share my videos and your comments you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best